From humble fields to high-tech havens, in the agricultural world, farming innovation has come a long way. Modern-day combine harvesters can operate autonomously, harvest more in one hour than what four people could do in one day, all the while using less resources. They've become the unsung heroes of our fields and are responsible for changing farming in ways you never imagined. We're about to uncover how these modern-day combines have made farming not only easier, but have also increased efficiency and precision, making it a time-saving marvel. Combine harvesters have come a long way over the years with some pretty cool upgrades. Modern harvesters like the Dudes Far C9306TS have something called the header that does all the cutting. What makes this even better is the fact that you can slap on a different kind of attachment depending on your harvest. The threshing mechanism takes over after the harvest gets cut by the header. This acts like a separator for the grain. It uses rotating cylinders and concaves to separate the grain from the unwanted stalks or husks. Once threshed, the grain goes through another separator that's responsible for making sure that only the grain passes through while keeping the straw and chaff out by using its sieves in a bit of airflow. The grain then goes through a cleaning system that removes any remaining impurities from the grain to make sure you get a high quality product, after which the grain is loaded into a large tank to be unloaded into a separate vehicle to get transported. These modern combines, like the Torum 785, not only save time, but reduce labor costs as well. Back in the day, reaping used to be a back-breaking task of cutting and gathering ripe crops by hand, using scythes or sickles, and threshing used to be a pain that involved separating grain from the rest of the plant. This also used to be extremely time-consuming, too. A crew consisting of four reapers and one binder would take all day and be able to harvest maybe five acres of land. If you've got around 20 bushels of wheat eat, this number totals about 100. Okay, now this was a really impressive number back in the day, but it still needed to be threshed and would require someone in good physical shape to thresh just seven bushels of wheat a day. If we compare that with today's harvesters, a modern combine harvester can effortlessly tackle more than 20 acres in a single hour. This means that one or two people can harvest approximately 1,600 bushels of wheat in just one day, as opposed to seven. If you think about it, a modern combine can do what it took four people an entire day to achieve in just about an hour. Modern combines like the New Holland CR9090 preserve crop yields better. Because preserving the yield is such a critical role, modern harvesters use measures for higher yield preservation and harvesting. This is because these combine harvesters are designed to handle the harvest gently during the entire process. These modern combines use threshing in a way that effectively separates wheat grains from the wheat panicles. This efficient threshing minimizes the risk of grain loss during the critical stage. Modern combine harvesters can now operate autonomously. Autonomous harvesters like the Police GS-12 are guided by GPS navigation systems that offer precise information on their exact positions. This way farmers can save on fuel and increase the precision of crucial basics like fertilizing and harvesting. All of this can be done without the operator having to manually steer these vehicles. Alright, other harvesters like the Lexion 6800 are getting more accurate. Precision farming has been elevated by the support of computers and sensors. These sensors and screens give the farmers valuable data such as driving distances, harvesting rates, grain moisture levels, and yield per hectare. This allows the operator to adjust the machinery speed according to crop density and even use the computer to plan farming operations. The ultimate goal here is to optimize crop choices, crop rotation strategies, and pricing predictions. Farmers can use detailed laboratory analyses to figure out the optimal time and the required amount of fertilizer for different soil types. This information also helps the farmer in planning sowing, fertilization, and spraying activities and to plan their new budget, which to me sounds a lot better than the farmer's almanac. With the combination of advanced market analysis and precise precisioning, farmers could plan crop cultivation with a lot more accuracy. How this works is that the computer stores the information about the required fertilizer quantities for specific areas, while the GPS keeps tracking the tractor's location and keeps adjusting the fertilizer application accordingly. This precision equipment minimizes overlap, reducing both working hours and fuel consumption. Another big benefit of this is that it not only enhances resource efficiency, but it also reduces the risk of nitrogen and phosphorus leaching into groundwater and watercourses. 
Okay, these combines look super comfortable. Improving operator comfort in modern agricultural machinery is a huge aspect of the design and functionality of these machines. You're not going to be sitting on any bungee corded buckets here, my friends. With the Kloss Lexion 780, operators are comfortable, more productive, can work longer hours with reduced fatigue, and are generally more satisfied with their work. These are all some key elements that contribute to improved operator comfort. Firstly, it's the way these cabins are designed. Modern agricultural machinery is designed with a focus on ergonomics. The purpose of this layout is to minimize the strain on the operator by providing easy access to controls and instruments, reducing the need for excessive movement while working. For those of my farmers out there that work in the green belt, we all know that heat and humidity are extremely uncomfortable and really tiring for us all to work in. To tackle this issue, effective climate control systems including heating, ventilation, and the almighty air conditioning are installed inside the cabin. These systems are there to make sure the operator is comfortable while they work in an environment with a wide range of weather conditions from scorching heat to freezing cold. If you compare the noise levels in current harvesters, it's a lot quieter than older ones. This is because soundproofing materials and designs are used here to create a quieter workspace, which is not only more comfortable, but also helps protect the operator's hearing. Wonder if I could do a recording in one of those. To make the ride even more comfortable in these uneven fields, these modern harvesters are equipped with advanced suspension systems and comfortable seating. These advanced suspension systems are designed to absorb the shocks to give the operator a smoother ride and reduce fatigue in the long run. So no more bumpy ruts for you. If different operators use a machine and they have different builds from one another, the controls in the cabin can also be adjusted to accommodate operators of varying sizes and preferences so the operator can find that sweet spot in the scenic position. These harvesters are better for the environment. Because of the use of precision farming in something like the Kloss Tryon 750, the need for excessive fertilizers has dropped significantly. By applying them in places only where needed, it minimizes chemical runoff into nearby water bodies and reduces soil contamination as well. The prevention of overfertilization also leads to better soil health. This in turn reduces chemical usage and gives us a healthier ecosystem. Another thing precision farming does is that it results in reduced fuel consumption because machinery operates more efficiently with minimized overlaps in idle time. And you know what that means. Lower fuel usage means fewer greenhouse gas emissions, leading to a smaller carbon footprint for agricultural activities and more profit. In the world of agriculture, when you mix precision farming with an efficient irrigation practice, you see a significant drop in water wastage. This is more important in areas with water scarcity and no easy access to water, so it helps to save up water for other uses. Now that you've seen the incredible capabilities of these harvesters, we're curious which combine harvester do you find most impressive and why? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, as is customary, if you enjoyed today's video, then please make sure to leave us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on that little bell icon to always be updated with the most exciting content as soon as it drops. Also, don't forget to let us know in the comments below what other videos you'd like us to create next. And as always, thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with us today. We'll see you in our next video.